of the, the, the German team. Uh, we really, uh, I asked the ladies uh, to bring their own ball. Uh, we did, did a lot of the exercises with this, but uh, I think it's, uh, we have to do it again in, in, in the national team. Uh, because it's not, it's, it's not used. It's no, just no uh, not at all. And uh, one of the, I said, well, get your own ball. And he said, how much is it? And I said, 30 euros. Well, that's not much, that much, but uh, it's too heavy. I don't want to carry it around. And I was looking at him and saying, do you know, for every training I do uh, every week, I carry around at least two uh, of, the, of these uh, underwater rugby balls in my bag. Uh, and he said, well, that's heavy. Yeah, and heavy it somehow uh, could be a muscle training <laughs> as <laughs> well, can, or something like that. Or so it can destroy your back. It depends where, where, where you put your target. And it, it, uh, it's, uh, of course, you, and if you have a problem, you can find a solution. True. Uh, you can, you know, if you, uh, you can store it in the, in the pool area. You can store it in the card and you know something like that. Uh, no, you Ana another question, Jörg, um, which because you you are a coach on the on the top level of the national uh, coach feeding feeding well, yeah. uh, feeding line, let's say I'm I'm on the regional uh, level. So what you do in your uh, uh, national uh, trainings in your meetings with the team is much different from the opportunities you have that I have in, in my team. What I'm inter always interested, how can you break down mental training, ball training, all this and make, uh, make it realistic for the teams building the future of underwater rugby? Uh, I, know, I don't know if you understand what I mean, but if you write about uh, what, what Bayern München does or what, what you does, it's uh, for clubs like me, we listen to it and we say, whoa, never gonna happen in my club. Yeah, but this is uh, it's a personal initiative. You have to, to make a mindset change. Uh, in the beginning, when I said, bring your own ball, then I said, sure. oh, you're stupid. What should I do with this? Yep. Uh, that makes no sense and something like that. And they get the, that are, of course, the different uh, opportunities and ideas and something like that. I, I don't know if the, my, 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 my way is the right way, at least. I, uh, it's I it's just not about right or wrong. wrong. It's not about right or wrong. But at least we were successful. So that that, that no, shows that it was at least yeah, was the right for that. Yeah, and uh, what, what I love the might, what, what is the most critical thing, and I think in club team, national team, when I get the players they want, they want to be in the national team, they want to be world champion, something like that, They're doing the extra training, so I don't. I don't do condition training. I'm more concentrating on the, the, the forming yeah, a team. Totally. Yes. And the, 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 this part, so I cannot do the, the rest. What should be do and done in club team? And Not in at club all. team, you have to ask the people sometimes to come to the training. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the first step. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to after the uh, when when I, I started up the beginning now. Uh, uh, For in this year, we uh, we scouted 50 different players who want to be in the national but, team. But to be able to scout uh, to scout 15 different players, you need to have clubs who raise these players. And we we I think we have to provide clubs uh, starting and bringing new players in. To we we have we as as coaches and especially especially you, we have to break down the knowledge. Uh, we have for beginner clubs, for clubs with uh, uh, not many members, not uh, many uh, uh, um, uh, money to, to have the possibility to start a good training and not do all so the same mistakes so from I'm the beginning. I'm, I'm always online. So the, the, uh, the women team has a Facebook platform. That's so a good invitation. Now that, now that is an invitation to to join. I have uh, no problem to talk with other coaches. Or That's great. We can, uh, in w and if someone is interested uh, in, in, in getting my opinion, uh, they're welcome to uh, join a training camp. Uh, That's, that's no, very something like that to yes. get experience. So that's open-minded. That's And for great. me, it's still too less. No? Though sometimes the c communication could be better. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 we have to push this, but uh, you know, there's always old pattern. And uh, if I say something, if I say something now, well, uh, Langen, 
they feel interfered in their tactics. Yeah, I don't criticized. Want, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to, to criticize something. I like that we see super underwater rugby. I like to see my national uh, ladies uh, with the newcomers and the Qatar players to put the effort which we've seen here that they be becoming next strong team. Uh, next year to win the European Championship. I and totally the, agree with you. The European Championship is a step. There we have to build up the team. In the next European Championship, who will be the world champion yeah. uh, to and be two years later? And so especially 2019, Germany will win the world championship again. I have no doubt about that. Um, but the, the 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 thing is um, with with. People like, I, I, I say, you know, people like you, you put so much effort with, uh, uh, you do. You don't talk about it, you do. And you do it with a, with a, with a women's team. And that's what counts. And being yes. able to ask someone like yeah. you I mean, and uh, other coaches. Don't, don't ask for permission, be proactive. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. it's the same what Let I write. Let the results I talk for you. Exactly. I, 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 I could give interviews on the Facebook site and I, I, I posted this on the, on the, on the, web, on the uh, Facebook site during the European Championship. We have uh, uh, the, 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 the reach out of the Facebook site of the woman during the, uh, the World Championship was 40,000 people. Yeah, so, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, listening to this, if you have questions about underwater rugby or want to discuss uh, certain things, uh, Jörg offers uh, so you can contact him. And uh, I wrote this in articles in VDST magazine. Contact uh, the coaches, the national coaches. I think they are always happy, like the coach referees I mentioned in my articles. Uh, contact them if you have any questions. They can uh, either answer the question or relay uh, you to people who can. So let's go back in uh, the next game, which is Molde from Norway against <laughs> from Finland. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, what, that's was a the, what, what was uh, the translation? Meaning, <laughs> something of the divers club. Here we go. Uh, the start and Molde is in uh, blue and uh, Finland is in white. I think this is going to be a tough game. Both Nordic teams, they might know each other. I don't know if they played in the EuroLeague or uh, anywhere. I don't know if the players might know each other. But uh, this is going to be interesting and uh, I'm quite sure... Uh, uh, Finland will give uh, Norway uh, quite a fight here and we are now in the closed corner of the uh, Finnish basket on already there is a Norway player in position and he's putting, that's interesting, he's uh, putting his foot under the goalkeeper of the Finnish team, never saw this before in this movement and uh, normally you're not even allowed to touch. Uh, but he didn't push. So Finland is now uh, 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 in, possession. in possession of the ball and going for uh, the uh, basket of um, Norway, but uh, they are stopped and they cannot break through and they're already in this uh, two, three meters perimeter around the Finnish basket. Oh, and that was a, a good uh, move, but uh, the player on the open side didn't see the pass coming and was just over his head and he lost it to the Molde players. And that's deadly in this uh, scene because Molde is a typical counter-attack uh, uh, team who just go in and um, uh, know how to, to score. So we have... Uh, Christian uh, updating, thank you for the information. Saying that... Uh, that mm so the teams know each other well, Christian is writing us. Uh, yeah, apparently uh, um, they play together with Beta in the Euroleague, so and they know the, the they know the, um, yeah they have been playing. So with this each is other. Uh, um, uh, I'm sure um, Finland is not overwhelmed by uh, Molde here. And uh, if you play it against a team, it uh, always gives you an advantage. Um, it might not make you win, but uh, you, you know what you're confronted well, yeah, with. Yeah, you know what to expect exactly. and you know different, how to react already. different for uh, Australia, who uh, every game they have here in this Champions Cup is new to them. Every team is new to them. They never played internationally. Yeah. So now we have a very tough push from Molde on the Finnish basket, but still Molde succeeded on uh, catching away the ball from... Uh, uh, Finland succeeded on catching the ball away from Molde and uh, there is a call from the referee 
It's a free throw, it looks like. Free throw against Molde. Probably holding without ball. No, it was the ball was outside uh, of the playing area. So it's a free throw for Finland against Molde. Let's see if uh, Finland can uh, translate this uh, uh, free throw fast into an attack and uh, probably position themselves already at the basket. Nope. There is no finish player down at the Molde basket. Uh, they executed uh, the free throw and tried to break through the offense defense um, of Molde. Um, but it's quite difficult because the forward checking is really intense. And uh, they, they don't succeed in getting closer than three, four meters to the Molde basket right here. So uh, really difficult for them to uh, even to get in the close range because the forechecking of Molde is keeping at bay. Now we're at the close side uh, on the surface. Ball is dropping down to a Molde player. And this is dangerous. We know Molde is uh, very good in these counterattacks. And they're coming from the close side. And uh, there was a block and a pushing. Uh, they tried to push away the goalkeeper over the head, but uh, it didn't succeed. Went up again. Now we have. Uh, Molde players directly over the basket, one, two meters over the basket. And they go down on the close side again. He's pushing on the close side over the head of the goalkeeper. And uh, they don't succeed yet. There's a very good defense playing of Finland here because with the push, uh, Molde has in these situations quite difficult holding without ball call from the referee. So it should be a free throw against Molde. Yeah. No, it's a uh, free throw against Finland. Against Finland, yeah, we have. I mean, I have here the some information about the players of the Finnish team. They have uh, most of them and at the end of the 30s uh, years, and they um, have a lot of Finnish champions, and um, um, and uh, I mean, all of them have experience uh, and and have any kind of championship that they won. So very experienced team. They have. Uh, uh, also a couple of national uh, players and um, uh, impressing. I mean, uh, the youngest player is from born in 93, so make the math. How old is he now? 23. <laughs> huh? He was born in 93? 23 he's now. Yeah, look at Eva. Very All right, good. back I in the game. I cannot do math in English. Yeah, Sorry, I can. Go. Ca numbers always been my speciality. I, I like to forget them. They. Uh, so um <coughs> this is uh, another attack from Molde to the basket, and here with us is uh, Oren. Um, he's one of the new players in my team. Uh, and uh, it's interesting to have probably have this opinion on this game because I think it's the first time he sees Molde uh, playing on the screen. So, uh, Oren, just give us a, a little insight. Uh, what do you think of this high game? You play now for, I think, half a year with us uh, at Sportaucher. What do you think when you see these scenes? Well, I'm very excited to see it. It's a totally different other game. Uh, to see when uh, profits are underwater, it's, it seems a little bit, um, it looks violent. It does, it really does, but actually, as uh, I already told you, if the pros are playing, uh, there's less physical contact than probably if our beginners are playing. And now we've seen uh, just the first score of Molde um, in one of these uh, attacks. They just push, push, push until they find uh, the gap and push the ball in. So it's not unexpected, but uh, nevertheless, it took them six minutes for the first uh, goal to score. So, Oren, um, thinking about that, wh what is your... Uh, well, you're playing now long enough to, to uh, differentiate uh, styles. What do you think is the key of, uh, in a game like this to win? What it just a the key is uh, the to know how. Um, <laughs> I've been <laughs> true. <laughs> the, to, the key is uh, is not power. The key is not uh, size of. Uh, of the of player. the body, yes. Uh, the key is the knowledge exactly. and the skills. True. And uh, the last, uh, the the whole week, I was uh, joining you with playing the national uh, together with all, all these nationals uh, uh, teams, and I was uh, playing with them underwater. It was it was an excite exciting feeling, and uh, there I really realized 
there is uh, uh, there are, these are two pair of shoes one pair is playing and having, having fun and the other pl uh, the other thing is work is do knowing what you're doing and uh, with this knowledge uh, and especially the Col Colombians uh, uh, left an uh, amazing uh, impression impre uh, yeah. impression about me uh, they are uh, behaving underwater as if they were above water yes and uh, totally that's true. Th that was uh, uh, with very very less uh, physical contact I didn't even uh, uh, succeeded Fewer. to touch them yeah. uh, and uh, and the, the the ball was already inside yes so um, thank you very much for the insight uh, let's go back in the game here uh, mold is called already again and we have a uh, uh, commentary on the um, chat uh, it's brutal if a uh, team like mold is attacking wave after wave that's super true and uh, Finland does quite a good job here fending them off but uh, um, time after time you just uh, the gaps are getting bitter bigger and Molde is waiting for that. They have the, uh, um, the experience to exploit uh, these gaps that are opening and they're really fast to punch the ball in and uh, to score. Now we... Uh well, you know, don't forget that this is the third game for the Finnish team. Today? And they just no. play, uh, yes, today. Oh. Yes, today. And they just play uh, just uh, before the girls did against Australia. Yes. So they might be really excited Exhausted. right yeah, now. They do. They do. Very because good the, Australia, job. the Australian game was not really that easy. Oh, so, so here we go again. Uh, Molly scored again. And uh, it was again with the... Uh, um, the going in, going out, every time there is a Molde player pushing, 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 pushing and uh, you change in the defense, in the goalkeeper uh, and uh, suddenly there's a little gap and uh, Molde is, uh, is keen to exploit that every time. So, um, yeah, it's a question of time if you play against them uh, before they, they are uh, uh, able to score. We have a free throw of Finland against uh, Molde and that was a misunderstanding with the free throw and now we have uh, end of the first half. Um, and a 3-0 for Molde. Molde had uh, a game earlier today, but this is the second game and have really time to record because it was today at 10.30 in the morning while uh, Finland just played at 2.30 and look at 3.40. So they had barely half an hour uh, break after an also quite uh, an, an exhausting game against Australia. So now with the physical contact that implies to play against Molde, because a play against Molde is always physical. I mean, that, I haven't seen, it's not like Orcas, it can be a lot of swimming. Molde is, you know, it's much more b body but it, um, it, I involved. I think it doesn't have to be as far as it looks like. I never played against them, but <laughs> I, I, I hope I never will. Well, I'd, I would love to. I think people here can, maybe on the chat. Um, but I um, think it's, it's not necessarily uh, uh, yeah, but physical. You, you see them, I mean, it's... Um, I don't know. This is my impression. It's much more physical in it than some other styles uh, of, and that just after you know your ser your third game, um, because sometimes they don't even get received. I mean, Molde is great and and swimming counter attacks and they they, they almost some. I mean, the, the one the last goal was like got the ball swim through, and almost the, the goalie was like a decoration. I mean put the ball inside yes. and this is not because Finland is not into position of, of, of offer some resistance uh, we've seen that they have a lot of experienced um, players but I believe they're just tired look sitting there they're you know they're just not really talking about each other they're just sitting recovering and using these three minutes to catch a break and uh, get some concentration because the moment you start getting tired then you start having uh, concentration problems and then mistakes happen um, True. So yeah, but well, these players, Finland, I think, uh, as you mentioned, they were experienced players. Most of them played uh, huge, big tournaments, and uh, they, there is not much they have to talk about. I think um, everything they need to talk, they did up front, and uh, they should be able to uh, translate what they know into the water. Yes. Well, uh, criticism about a schedule. Yes, 30. We have today. We have 30 games. 30 
games in one day. Um, so it's uh, really difficult uh, to get everybody uh, enough uh, break and uh, definitely it's uh, not an uh, easy schedule but uh, with all together 59 games uh, in three days uh, there are uh, there is a heavy uh, um, the heavy load uh, for uh, mentally and bodily a uh, well very well uh, played uh, ball which uh, didn't reach uh, uh, its uh, destiny so um, they are trying to recover the ball I mean between Finnish and uh, team but Molde is interfering and successfully stole the ball and tried to swim a counter-attack. Uh, the Finnish team just got into position and uh, recovered the ball and uh, um, was, uh, you know, held uh, by a Molde player, even uh, if he wasn't uh, holding the ball. That's why we have now a free throw for, uh, I mean, against Finland. Okay, I thought that would have been the other way around because the, the Molde player was holding the Finnish player without uh, the ball, so interesting. I missed something there. Of course, from here, uh, it's not the same as being underwater, and uh, the, the referees see much more than we don't see most of the time. Well, That's sometimes it's vice versa. <laughs> sometimes we probably have a broader view um, than the referees themselves. So, uh, Finland is now uh, on the close side. Um, Building up uh, their attack heavily interrupted by Molde and uh, their defense is. There's a call from the referee. Holding. There was a holding. Also. And it's a free throw against uh, Finland. So um, here we go. Uh, free throw against Finland. And uh, we have the mobile camera, so we don't see what's happening uh, at the goal. And we're now back again at the finish goal. And already a uh, Molde player was waiting at the head side of the goalie. Uh, totally free, undisturbed by uh, the defenders. And uh, they, the defense uh, on the open side from uh, Finland doesn't have a chance to get in between uh, uh, the basket and the Molde player. And now uh, the ball is on the close side, right above uh, the goal. And uh, that's called from the referee again. The ball was uh, at the surface. I uh, don't know what uh, happened. Maybe ball was out of the water or uh, crypt through the head. Well, seven minutes still remaining from the second half. And uh, free throw. Now the very wrong pass <laughs> in the, uh, in the, hands of the Yeah, but because he, he intercepted uh, the pass, uh, did a great job. Uh, Finland player just returning back to. Mm, defend uh, the attack of Mold. Then we have three Molde plays right underneath the goalie. Um, now they're uh, driving away with a scramble and uh, we have the one defensor playing with Mold the attacker. Uh, he got the ball but he couldn't uh, keep it, the position. And uh, Mold is still trying to you know, pass in as one finish, one Molde, one finish, one Molde player fighting for the ball. Uh, still three meters away from the basket. And um, there's a call from the referee. Uh, free, free throw, throw against chance. Finland. And already a multiplayer positioned himself at the basket, replaced by a Finnish defender. Um, here we go. Free throw is executed, uh, starting from uh, the open side, uh, the, the closed side, pass to the open side. And the uh, ball is uh, over the basket, free, floating here back and forth and recovered by a Molde player and now uh, we are in the know, surface on a cluster. The forechecking of the Finnish team is not achieving and to keep the attacker of Molde at a distance. I mean, they are not forechecking and keeping them three meters away from the basket. They are just right there on top of the basket and that's too dangerous and that costs too much 
uh, strength of the defenders and the goalie, um, and also too much unrest. So, uh, wow, that was a great catch from the Finnish uh, player. He just got the pass that it was supposed to be for one of the Molde players, and now they're drilling up into the surface, fighting. You can see uh, this is two and two, and uh, five minutes left, and this is a waste of energy. This uh, is um, going nowhere cluster, but the ball is free again. We have the mobile camera. But we don't see what's happening now. Here we go. Uh, the ball is on the open side, on the closed side. Now in the middle of the uh, basket of Finland. Call. It's a penalty. Okay, Holding penalty of the against. basket probably. Uh, I just want to make clear um, to Petri Silvola. We have just international referees. We don't have any kind of newbie referee uh, on this game. So right here, the one in front of us is Jochen Beckmann, one of the highest referees in Germany. Um, so probably uh, uh, you, uh, yeah, um, maybe you don't know, but uh, this is not a beginner's uh, tournament, and the referees here are quite international. And uh, yeah. But uh, uh, totally correct to ask about it. But they are all international uh, uh, referees uh, like uh, Manuel, Birgit, Bob, uh, uh, Manfred Kasur. So, uh, yeah, the lineup is quite impressive, uh, you see here, with the refereeing. <coughs> so, timeout, time out, uh, maybe for uh, Finnish uh, team. Finnish uh. team. The have to they exhausted they look exhausted and uh, that's no uh, no surprise because their last game is not far ago and um, so now um, we are going to have the penalty let's see um, can we see who is the one? Ivor is uh, doing the penalty. He's one of the strongest players, I think, uh, from uh, Molde. And he's already on, on the basket and pushing from the side of the basket. But the Finnish uh, uh, goalie is, is holding quite good. Was holding quite was holding well. Good, but he did quite well against yes, uh, the yes, push yes, because yes. Ivor is one of these players. He has, he has such a push in the first uh, contact. So uh, keeping him at bay at least for some seconds is is uh, uh, quite impressive. By the impressive. way, Christian said that it is physical playing against them. Okay. Thank you, Christian. No, but um, yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Okay, uh, Lorena, can you take over for a second? Uh, yes, uh, all right. So we have three and a half minutes to go. And 4-0 uh, for Molde. Also, no surprises in here. Uh, they are keeping uh, on a uh, constant attack. Waves coming from uh, left or right sides. And uh, the defense of the Finnish team is doing what the best they can to keep them away. But they are not inter intercepting the attackers. And the farther away line, they just uh, get a hold of them where they're already on top of the goalie or the defender. This is already too close. Molde um, is too good, have too much of a strength like I mean, and speed and technique so that the moment they're in close vicinity of the goalkeeper, then the chances of the goal are quite high. But 4-0, I mean, that's a good job on the Finnish team. Uh, if you can see that this is the third match and they had just half an hour or 40 minutes rest uh, in between this match and the one before. Um, and now they are, I can't see well, um, now we are, there we are, counter-attack from three players of Mulder. The goalie is in position, but the defender gets too late. And uh, they were holding the mold uh, attacker from the back, and yeah, that's not really much effective. So of course another goal for Molde, 5-0, two minutes to go, and at this point I believe uh, Finland would be happy <laughs> when the time is over. I think they are quite exhausted, has been.
quite a match. And um, one minute, 50, cent, 50 seconds. And uh, the Finnish team is coming towards the basket of Molde. But I can see, I can see a lot of bubbles. And they're fighting from above. Uh, you have a lot of uh, players that's quite chaotic. But you don't see really the Molde players under stress. They are really in their position, defending, waiting for the foot checkers to do their job. We have a Finnish player in between the basket and the defender, but um, doesn't look that he's going to achieve anything. Uh, he's gone now, and uh, the Finnish team is trying to recover the ball and trying to get closer to the basket. Now it's an attacker, and uh, they got closer to the goalie. The defender was late from all the, but still... Um, now really a pressure uh, these are very experienced players we have one of the Finnish players that st stole the basket but Molde player got into position and now uh, Molde has the ball and are swimming a counter attack and Finland is uh, coming back to their basket and getting to the position we have the defenders and the goalie and um, the Molde is attacking on the closer corner uh, they have positions. I mean, now from the open corner, the uh, attacker got the ball and pushed the goalie up, but uh, the defender uh, kind of uh, could stop until <laughs> Molly got free and return so and score. So, so another goal and 10 seconds left in this uh, game. So, Christian, what do you say? Uh, can the Finnish team be? Uh, uh, satisfied with this uh, game apart from uh, losing but uh, is this typical if they play against each other uh, or is it uh, uh, was it a bad game so time's over and we have a break and <laughs> people just saw that uh, yeah, you see but how it read me uh, you I'm almost sorry. exploded my ears <laughs> I'm sorry I just crashed my hand against the microphone don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, that was um, five or six zero, six zero. Six zero, uh, and we see uh, Eva doing the pictures outside of the pool. She's uploading them on uh, on our Facebook side. It's Facebook uh, Facebook dot com slash Champions Cup. Uh, you can see the pictures from the pool area and get a feeling for the atmosphere right there. Um, just tune in. You can go here to the live stream, um, and uh, the next game up will be Lorena. Tell us. The next game is going to be Castores, the girls against Copenhagen. Yeah, this will be an an interesting too. I mm, think. Um, I think Castores, Castores will have win. the edge here. Yeah. I would uh, say so too, but uh, you never know. Uh, it's not guaranteed. It's already getting dark uh, outside. We have uh, four o'clock uh, in the evening, uh, but there actually there never was sun today here in Berlin. It was uh, dark the whole time. I think the Scandinavian teams uh, will be used to it, but for the uh, teams coming from South America, Italy, it will be quite tough to spend a day without uh, seeing the light. Um, but that's the Berlin winter, which can be quite uh, brutal. Um, but, uh,